Yeah, I'm gonna rip that up. Right, so this video is all about how to destroy a United Kingdom brilliant uncirculated coin collection of 2001. <laughs> Someone's already started the process for me, haven't they, with this sticker thing on the outside of the case. I've tried pulling this off. It's just taking the uh, cardboard with it. So I bought this at a boot sale at the beginning of the year. There's no way I paid 15 quid for it, absolutely no way. I saw this, saw how damaged it was and thought, I'm definitely buying this to rip it up. I don't know how much I paid for this. I got a feeling I did a bit of a, a bundle deal and I bought a few things at once or a couple of annual sets at once, but I, I just can't remember what I paid for it. It's probably on video somewhere. It's uh, probably on one of my boot sale videos. But what a nice set of coins. Look at that. And that um, pound coin as well. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting that one out. And uh, the uh, wireless transmissions. I like that. I like the look of that. But the uh, obverse is much better. That looks really cool with all the Queen's portraits and the coins and the two two pound coins I have side. I just think that's, it just looks better that way around. The obverse looks better than the reverse. But anyway, I'm gonna rip it apart, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I had a little look at this the other day and I noticed, if I put this back this way, which is wrong, but then that sticker sort of uh, makes a bit more sense. So it says the item number, something, maybe it says gold and jubilee, I think, maybe. And then this bit amuses me, it says here, mint condition. <laughs> mint condition, please handle up by holding the rim. Pick up by holding the rim. Mint condition, and you put that big sticker over it and it sticks to it and completely ruins it. And see, look, that's, it's all pulled away where that bit of the sticker's been ripped up or tried to, someone's tried to take it off. So it's ruined anyway. Before I've even got my mitts on it, it's ruined. It's all ruined. So I have no problem finishing the job. Um, so last week, one day in the week, I can't remember now, I found a very good condition. Wireless transmissions, very nice. There's no way that's been in circulation for 21 years. Cool, cool coin, there we go. And I had a little check and the one that was in my change checker album uh, was nowhere near as nice. There we go, and if I try and Hold it up the best I can without dropping them. Can you see just the dirt on the uh, in the uh, grooves in the design? Let's see if I can get it closer. You can see around the outside uh, the one in the little plastic coin holder on the left is so much more grubbier than the one on the right. So the one I found in, in circulation is way better than the one I've had in my Change Checker album. So I was thinking, right, I'm definitely gonna swap those over. Uh, and then I actually read a comment on uh, my Instagram. Ethan Keeley commented, can't wait till you bust the 21 bunk version out. And I'd actually completely forgot that I had this, well, I hadn't forgot I had this album, I completely forgot that the uh, wireless transmission was in this album. So yes, um, Ethan obviously remembered Thank you very much, Ethan. And um, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna not worry about this one so much. I'm gonna pull this one out and get it in my change checker album. I'm also gonna swap over the 50p and definitely gonna do the pounds. I'll probably do the technology as well because that's way better than the one I've got in my uh, change checker album as well. And then the uh, 10p I might put in the front of this. A five, one, 20 and a two. I'm just gonna keep to one side, probably put them in flips and just keep hold of them for now. I wonder if I've got the strength to actually rip it, like rip it. Um, I don't think I have because 
well there's plastic in there anyway that will stop me but I've got such a weak grip <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total weed and I could probably bend it work it there we go I can manipulate it and get it ripped open but I don't know I can't actually rip it down the middle there you can work it and then try and rip it but <laughs> I think I'm just going to rip it down the centre and is it backed? is it? yes it is back so they're not going to fall out basically there we go Glorious! That's what you came here to see, wasn't it? <laughs> well, we just cut it. Cut the top. Ones. There. Cut this. That whole bottom row I can keep to one side. Uh, these three are all coming out. And I guess just two of those. I'm gonna, am I? Am I? Or just the pound? I'll have a think about that 10p. Put those off to one side. So we got these four to go in my album right okay so let's deal with the pound first because it's on its own there now i pulled this out of my change checker album this is the one i've got in there it's pretty grim isn't it actually not very nice you can pair that with and look look at the difference that or that one <laughs> that one or that one what <laughs> which one would you keep which one of those two would you have in your collection yeah exactly not that one right glove time and we can get this out of the plastic I think we can there we go, let's get this out. Look at this. Oh, it's fighting me. It really is fighting me. There we go. Look at that glorious thing. Look at that. And of course it's got an edge inscription, which I can't read. Don't know what that says. Obviously Latin. E.T. That's the only thing I recognise. <laughs> we'll have a look at Queenie. And I'll just turn that round on the computer, I think. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, that's going in my album absolutely glorious just want to get it as straight as possible of course somewhere like that no real click unfortunately with that one that's in the coin holder going in the album cool so that's one let's get the 50p out there we go there we go Wow, that's just a humble Britannia, but look at that. There we go, the Ian Rank Broadley portrait. Very nice. Cool, so uh, yeah, um, pulled this one out of my album, Britannia. Obviously, nowhere near as nice. And uh, 
I, I've already had a little sneaky peek of this actually, and uh, I discovered. Uh, I thought I'd put a 2008 in there in my uh, change checker album, a 2008 and a 2017 Shield. But on looking at this one, look at this for coincidence. It's a 2001. So I'm replacing a 2001 Britannia with a 2001 Britannia. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this, but I don't know if it's going to look much different on the camera, but can you see the, the thickness difference? Just about. Oh, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm showing it very well anyway. That is definitely going in my album. That is replacing that Britannia. Come on. Oh, a bit of a nicer click. Glorious. <laughs> it's my new favourite word. Let's do this Britannia. A bit of a, um, not too bad, but it's not the best one I've ever found, I don't think. 1999, which, um, there we go, which is coming out. And going in is this 2001, obviously, Britannia. I think I've said this before, but how beautiful is a shiny technology? It's just a great design, isn't it? When you see it like this, it's a stunning coin. And I think I asked the question not so long ago about, does anybody have a proof or a silver proof technology? There we go. Looks cool, just in that. Stunning. A very good upgrade to my album. Turn it around a little bit. That'll do. Cool. And then last but not least is this uh, quite grotty now, actually. So happy to be upgrading this one. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Look at all the extra detail you notice now. It's that DNA one that I want. All the detail on that is absolutely stunning, but this is pretty damn close. Gorgeous. Let's get that in its holder. Ooh, got that lined up straight away. There we go. Looks a bit wonky. Oh, is it wonky? Yeah, that, that's weird. Looks all right in my uh, hands, and I look through the uh, camera here, it looks a little bit wonky. Oh, whatever, that, that's close enough, that's good for me. I was gonna put the 10p down here, put a, a lion there and a shield next to it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just trim this up a little bit more. And uh, for now, we'll sit that in there. Yeah, that'll do. Right. 50p. There we go. Let's get through all these 50p's. There's loads of them. And so this is a 2001. What was the pound coin I took out? Oh, that's 2001 as well, isn't it? They they used used the same designs for a couple of different years, didn't they? I haven't got a full date run of pound coins in here. I just got uh, one date of each design. That's much better. Look at that compared to the ones next to it. Scottish line there, we updated a little while ago. Right, what else we got? We still got the uh, Bill of Rights. We still got the space for the claim of rights. Still got to do that, I've got it. Just got to crack that out of its uh, album. Technologies going in. Much better, much better. And then what we came for, the uh, wireless transmissions going into the album. Here, between a not very nice rugby 
and a England uh, Commonwealth Games. Right, that is it. We're done. Album sorted, updated. There we go. We can close this up. Okay, guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Appreciate that. I do hope you like these ones where I uh, rip stuff up. <sighs> I enjoy these ones. Sorry. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please think about doing so. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another episode. But until the next video where I rip stuff up, please keep looking out for those coins to collect.